And back on money bags, Lee. He's got queen six this time. Well, he limps in, he calls. Let's see what Pete Lawson does. Now Pete's only got jack six of diamonds here. Double it. But he's going to sweeten it a little bit. He's going up. Well, that is a sweetener, as we say. It's the minimum raise possible. Now, virtually, there's no hand that Lee's going to throw away for 20,000 more. A little chump change. Just once. There's 66,000 out there. He's not going to throw it away for 20,000 more. Here comes a flop. Uh, look at this. 7-6 six, deuce. They both hit their sixes. Check. But notice that Lee has the bigger kicker. He's got the queen. Yes, and he's checked Pete it. has the jack. This is a major problem now for the young player. Like Pete's going to bet 115,000 here with the second pair, nice. the two sixes. Nice solid bet by Pete. Very tricky player, this Lee Watkinson. Well, let's see how he's going to play these two sixes, or if he's going to play them. Not an automatic kind of call. Well, Vince, he's not calling. Nope. He's re-raising him. He's betting 300,000 here. Come on, Lee. Lee raises. And Pete says all in, Vince. Just that quick, he's going all in for 910,000 here. That is tremendous. He is tired of getting pushed around. He's going to push Lee right back in the corner, he hopes. Well, Pete stands up. He's done his work. He's gone all in here. The nerve on this guy. But will Lee make the right decision here? Folks, don't go away. We'll be right back with more on the World Poker Tour. In Hollywood at the Legends of Poker. Where the pressure is building on poker pro Lee Watkinson. Can he make the right call? Or will Pete Lawson's all-in result in a legendary laydown? Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. Lee Watkinson, our chip leader, facing a big $610,000 decision right here. Will he make the right choice? Well, this would be a very tough call. Pete Lawson's poker life just flashing right in front of him at this moment. Pete might actually think his two sixes are good. If the guy had an overpair of two sevens, he would have most likely already beat you in the pot. Yeah, I'd prefer just to take this right now. We sure would. Get away with this. Yeah, you know, shenanigans. Even, even if his opponent had an 8-9, he wouldn't want him calling no. this bet. The question is, will Lee Watkinson make the right decision here? Can he do it again, Vince? Well, this is a poker savant. Red hot on the circuit. This would be uncanny, folks, if he makes this call. I'm going to call. Oh, he's doing oh. it! <laughs> Folks, this is unbelievable. He has made this call here. It's uncanny, I tell you. And the crowd is absolutely silenced. They turn over the cards. The call of the year here, man. I can't believe this. The crowd roars because they see it now. It's queen six versus jack six. Nice call. say that well, again. Unbelievable. Right now, the kid's saying, well, no that? wonder this kid has been at the final table two weeks in a row on a World Poker Tour event. Nice call. Here comes the turn card. Well, here it comes. That's a nine. Now, what that means is Pete Lawson must catch a jack to stay alive in this tournament. He's down to one card. Can he catch lightning in the bottle again? He needs a jack with one to go. His poker destiny on the line. It is it's not. A deuce. Well, they shake hands. Well, the crowd chants Lee, and they should chant Lee for the call he made there. An amazing play by Lee Watkinson there. Well, you know, he's got to get a voodoo doll of Lee Watkinson and start hitting needles on it because that is just devastating. Thanks, he's coming over to see hey, us. Man. Thanks, guys. Congratulations. Pete, great no, week, sorry. my man. That's great effort. Yeah, gonna... And don't feel too sorry for him, folks. He's taken home $272,665. What a week for now, Pete Lawson. comes up, I win because I got to play a heads up. I get busted by Doyle. Well, that's, one, that's one hell of a call. So what happened in the last hand? You know what? Um, short stacked going against uh, either me or uh, Doyle had to make a move sometime. But I mean, it's an honor to play with them. It, um, all those guys, uh, great players. I was. Uh, I feel privileged to even be at that table. We are in heads-up competition. The great Doyle Brunson against Lee Watkinson. 
There we see the first lady of poker, Linda Johnson. Please to show us the money. And she is introducing the talent for the presentation. Here we go. And Vance, they only do it one way here at the bike, and that's on a bike. Now, you see, these guys used to be on the professional poker circuit. They ran bad for a couple of tournaments in here. This is why they're doing this. <laughs> and now Shauna Hyatt is getting her hands involved in that stack. Out comes the cash, the crowd clapping. We got jugglers, unicyclists, pretty girls. Nearly $2 million on the table. Well, Doyle's enjoying the show, of course. Why not? As is Lee. I mean, they're going for over a million bucks between them. The fun and games are over. It's back to business. Heads up play to determine the next Legends of Poker champion. Well, your pick was Doyle Brunson to win it. I took Lee. So finally, one of us is going to be right. As heads up play begins, Lee Watkinson has a little over five million in chips. Doyle has a little over 1.6 million in chips. And Vince, for the second consecutive week on the World Poker Tour, Lee Watkinson has made it to heads up. And not only that, he's had over a three to one chip lead on his opponent both times. Well, the blinds and Andy's are going up. Blinds are going to be 15 and 30. Well, action's going to be on Lee here. Look at this, Vince. He just has a 5-3 offsuit. He is not going to be intimidated by the great Doyle Brunson. He's going to raise it to 80,000 with a 5-3 offsuit, folks. Right behind him, Doyle with a little suited connector. He's going to call this. He has 6-5 of hearts. Yes, he does. So here we go. Action on hand one. And look at this. A oh, bingo man. for Doyle. It's come 7-4-3. He's flopped the nuts and oh, checks. He is digging the hole. He's putting the twigs and the sticks over it, waiting for a sucker to fall in. Well, and that would be Lee at this point. Well, Lee's flopped bottom pair and a gut shot straight draw. So he's going to bet at this pot. He's bet 100,000. Doyle Brunson has trapped his man. Flopped his straight. And all Doyle is thinking about now is... How can I maximize my return on investment here? How can I get this guy to put the most money in the pot? Oh, cowboy song's going off in this man's head right now. So he doesn't raise with a straight. He just calls here on the flop. Very casually, and it only gets better. A ten of spades. And again, Doyle checks. He's throwing the rope to his opponent. Oh, giddy up, cowboy. He's hoping Lee takes the bait. He's going to milk him like a Holstein. And Lee's doing it. <laughs> he He's betting 200000 Now what's the master going to do? Is he going to call this 200000 Or is it time for him to take a raise? Uh, we are in L.A., close to Hollywood, and you're seeing it right here. He's a performer. He's an actor. Folks, he's the multi-academy award winner in the poker world, believe me. It's one of the great feelings in poker when you got your cinch and you got a man betting right behind you. You're setting him up. Well, but the question is, how do you play it, Vince? How do you get the most money out of your cards? Come on. He well, is going to raise it. Yeah, he's going to step it up. He's going to hope his opponent has something where he can win a big pot here. He's building here, putting the blocks on. Now Lee's looking down at him saying, hey, what is this guy all about? I got a piece of this. I got my threes. I got my inside straight draw. Now Vince, that's What's not very much doing? when the guy raises it 400,000. You got bottom pair and a gut shot draw. No, it's not. But you know what? He's been known to make moves before. You have to in heads up. We're seeing it all night long here. Well, it's 400,000 more to call. I'm all in. He's oh. all in. Oh, he has oh. made the misstep of the night. He has stubbed his toe badly here, folks. Doyle has sold him a bill of goods, and he has bought it. I call about This way. is not Pete Lawson. This is Doyle Brunson. He quickly calls it. Well, Doyle turns up the oh. nuts. And that's devastation oh. type of Lee. I'll Look tell you. That. I can tell you that's a knife in the stomach of Lee Watkinson right there. Now, he can catch a six and tie this pot. He can get a split out of it if he's lucky enough to catch a six. The crowd roars when they hear about the hand. He flopped the nuts. So right here on hand one, Doyle Brunson could very easily double up where these guys will be virtually even in chip fence just that quick after one hand. And poor Lee on his own little private pity party. He is sickened by this. Well, there comes the river. He can tie at best. It's an eight. So there you have it. Texas Dolly has come back to tie this match. Giddy up, Cowboy. You have done it. The 
crowd just loving this. The master coming back. Vince, I got to tell you, unbelievable. in my view, Lee Watkinson hit one out of bounds there. He fumbled the ball. He the made race. a big critical mistake. I don't mind him betting 200000 on 4th Street there. But when Doyle comes over the top for 400000 remember, he checked and called you on the flop. Now he checked raised on the turn. That's usually a sign of a big hand. Lee didn't pick up on it, and he paid dearly for it. He is resilient. He's a great player. Can he come back from these type of hits? Well, they're counting out to see exactly how much Doyle has. And Vince, you got to be wondering what's going through Lee's mind here. Six, that's a million. That's Last a million. week he had a big chip lead and blew it. Is he worried about doing the same thing again? And Vince, look at this. Here comes Paul Phillips with one of Doyle's books. <laughs> He's going to point this out to Lee Watkinson. They're good friends. At least they used to be good friends. <laughs> Not necessarily the best time to play yeah. a little prank. Well, you're right. <laughs> a lot at stake here. <laughs> Paul's getting a laugh out of it. Well, Paul can laugh because he was in this exact same position <laughs> one year ago. He was a big chip leader playing heads up, and he lost that title to Mel Judah. Lee's saying, hey, wait, don't bother me. I just lost a couple million in that pot. Yeah, so Vince are virtually tied in chip count right now. But what's interesting about this is that the blinds at Annie's are still pretty darn low, so there's lots of room to play and see the best strategy that these two great players can do. All right, right back on the master. Oh, Brunson, this time he's got an ace-deuce. The well knows an ace is a favorite over a random blind hand, so he's going to raise it to 65,000. Well, he takes a peek at an 8 5 offsuit, trying to shake off that last debacle. He wants to speculate. Well, he's going to call it. He's going to try to hit a flop here, see if he can get lucky and catch something. Let's see if he can do it. Now flop is king, queen, eight. Well, he did catch something. He caught a piece of that. He's got eights. He quickly checks. Doyle with absolutely nothing but ace high. Doyle raised before the flop. Is he going to pull the trigger here? Yes, he is. He bets 90,000. Nice, solid bet. We know he just has ace high. Now put yourself in Lee's position here. Your opponent raised before the flop. Come king, queen, eight. He's bet on the flop. Do you want to call a bottom Ooh. pair? No. Well, he's been intimidated. He lays that hand down. And so far, Lee's 0 for 2 in this heads-up match. He's on the left foot when he should be on the right here, Vance. Well, don't go away. We'll be right back with more on the World Poker Tour. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. And don't change that dial, folks. We are seeing some incredible poker right now by the living legend Doyle Brunson and the hottest guy on the tour, Lee Watkinson. Yes, now don't forget we started with 667 players. You're right. It was the largest field in the history of the World Poker Tour. We are down to two, and Doyle Brunson raising it with ace-king, 90,000 he makes it. Now let's take a peek at Lee's cards. He's got ace-eight of clubs. Well, a nice hand. He's normally very aggressive, but he's just calling here. And that's kind of interesting. He's just going to call us. A lot of players would go over the top with this. Here we go with a flop. He's going to need some help. Well, it comes 10-7-4. Helps neither player. Well, it goes check, check. Turn card. Well, turn card is a deuce. Another blank. Again, Lee checks. Doyle's starting to reach for chips here. See if Doyle comes out to play. Check. But he checks also. Slows down. Here's the river. Doesn't want to fall in any traps here. Nothing on the river. Again, Lee checks. And Lee thinks his ace might be good at this spot. It's not. Doyle's kicker is going to get him. Oh, what a look of disgust on Lee's face with that. He's saying to himself, a man's checking all around the place. I still can't win. Well, so far, everything going Doyle Brunson's way here. Well, this is becoming a reoccurring nightmare for poor Lee. Can he have the composure to come back? We will see. Lee Watkinson has a lot of experience overpowering his opponents. My name is Lee Watkinson, and I play No Limit Texas Hold'em. Lee Watkinson is, seems to be a very disciplined player. 
very tough to come over the top with him. He's tough to read. He's got that same facial expression. So <laughs> talk to him, he doesn't talk back. Today, he's one of the hardest WPT players to read, but it wasn't always that way. I'd be walking by the casino, I see all these people playing stud, and I go, wow, can't play with those guys. They know what I had as soon as I looked at my cards. Eventually, I found my way in and worked my way up from there. A poker player's poker player. Lee's game might even be a match for the master. Every time he raises it, I have a lot of respect for him. I think he's got a hand. I don't see him being too frivolous out there. Lee's determination to succeed in poker is the same drive he used as a college wrestler. I wrestled in the uh, U.S. National Championships. I got to wrestle in the Olympic gold medals. Killed me, but, you know, it's like uh, WPT guy gets to go play Doyle Brunson. So same thing. Action's on Doyle. <laughs> Looks down at a 10-8. And he's going to raise it. Comes in for 80,000. Unspectacular 10-8, but right behind him, Lee's got a little wired pair of fives this time. Total of 80. He gets excited in his seat. He'd love a little revenge right now. He needs it. Okay. Well, the question is, do you just call here or do you come over the top? Well, that's usually the kind of hand you want to make a big raise. Make the other guy think about it. You don't want to be calling with a little pair. Let's see how Lee plays him. Two, two, I'm uh, making it 250. Well, he's going to raise it. He's going to make it 250,000. So he comes over the top of door with a pair of fives. 250,000. Excuse me. 250,000. In case Doyle comes over the top of him here, he's not going to like it with two fives. Yeah. Well, he's going to lay it down. He opts to lay it down. So finally, chalk one up for Lee Watkinson. He's on the board, Vince. Well, believe me, there might not have been that many chips in that pot, but psychologically, that had to be a big boost for Lee just to win a pot off of Doyle, to get on the board, to get this thing turned around a little bit. So here we go again, right back on Lee. 80. 80,000. He's got a suited connector this time, 6-5 of spades, and he is raising. Well, right behind him, Doyle Brunson's got another suited connector, 7-8 of diamonds. And he comes in for 80,000. Notice both of these players raising continuously when it's their button. Tasty little hands, here we go. And flop is king, 10-3, no help to either player. Doyle checks, and Lee quickly checks right behind him. And now the turn. turn now the board ten. pairs tens. Just doesn't help either player once again. Doyle, no funny business, he's gonna check it. And Lee sitting down there with a 6-5. 150. Well, he senses weakness. And he's going to bed. He makes it 150,000. Oh, and Doyle quickly lays his hand down. Oh, yeah. Old school tightness. He's not going to play games here. He likes his position. He lays it down. He's going to let Lee take this little pot. Doyle Brunson's so serious right now. Now he's won millions upon millions in poker, of course. But he would love this title. Not only $1.1 million you'd win, but you'd also get that guaranteed seat at Bellagio in the championship. Well, action on, Doyle. And look at this, Vince. He's picked up 5-3 offsuit, and he's reaching for chips here. Oh, he's got a dismal little chunky hand. Well, he's going to raise it. It doesn't matter when he gets the heads up, though. 50, 000, 80, 000, and Lee quickly goes out. Well, look at this. Every time somebody's on the button, they raise it up. It doesn't matter what their cards are, Vince. They're playing position poker, power poker. They're forcing their opponent to pick up a hand. So you're watching Poker Masters at work. Don't go away. We'll be right back on the World Poker Tour. Biggest mistake I see is that they don't respect the guy that comes in in first position. Well, that kind of sends up a, a warning signal in my mind because he's coming through all the other players. And I notice that these players don't really observe that. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. Heads up, legendary Doyle Brunson against the very successful Lee Watkinson. And this battle continues. Well, folks, what you're watching in this heads up match is strategy and tactics at its finest. If you'll notice, each player, regardless of their cards, have raised on the button. They want to take command when they're in position. So let's see if that trend continues. True battle of wits here in L.A. Now it's on Lee. This time he's got king eight of spades. And again, he raises it. Makes it 80,000 to go. 
Doyle with the seven four of hearts. Tempting little hand. He's going to make this call. Well, he hopes to catch something on the flop. Let's see if he can do it. Ooh, look at this flop. It's come king, queen, ten with two hearts. Doyle flopped the flush draw. Lee's flopped top pair. Lee has checked it. Well, it's gone check, check here. Neither player bet their hand, and now a seven comes off, giving Doyle a pair and a flush draw. Now let's see how he plays it. All right. This time he can't resist. He is going to bet it. Yep, he bets 130000 Now what's Lee going to do with his top pair now? I raise 300. He's going to raise it here. He's going to make it 300,000. Well, his instincts were right. He was in front. He wanted to trap a little bit. Got the man to come out. Now there's nearly 600,000 in that pot. In addition to that, his opponent still has a couple million in chips. Well, Doyle's called this. Well, Doyle's going to gamble here because of the implied odds, meaning the amount that he can potentially win in case he hits this hand. Well, he would love to catch his flush. He's got four to the flush, and he's got a little pair. Yeah, two more. Let's see if he can get lucky. I think he could catch a seven or a four and win also. You can also win pots just by betting. And he catches the oh, flush. He hits the flush. Oh, wow. Well, let's see how the master's going to play now. He's made his hand. <laughs> Is he going to bet? Is he going to check? Remember, there's 766,000 in this pot. Oh, boy. He's going to rope this steer right now. 500. And he's going to bet 500,000. 500, he's hoping to chop out a half a million here from his opponent. Now, remember, Lee has top pair here. He's faced with a tough decision, Vince. Now, is he going to respect it once? Yes, he does. He, he lays it down. He makes a strong lay down there. And, Vince, I got to tell you, he lost about as little as you could expect when you flopped top pair in a heads-up match. Well, there's a lot of cat and mouse going on. Great strategy by both men. Doyle seemingly getting the better cards when he needs them. Well, you're right about that, Vince. So far, Doyle Brunson holding over Lee Watkinson, just as Eli Elezra did last week against Lee. Action's going to be on Doyle once again. This time he's got 6-4 clubs. 80. And again, he's going to raise it to 80,000. Lee Watkinson. Now he looks down at an ace-10 of hearts. That's a nice hand when you're playing heads up. Three hundred. And he's going to raise it to three hundred thousand. So it comes over the top of Doyle Brunson for another two twenty. Well, he's going to try to push him. Now Doyle's in position, but it cost him two hundred twenty thousand more to call, and he's only got a six four. Well, he only had a five six when he caught that sin straight, and that turned everything around in the heads up match. Didn't have to pay quite as much though before the flop. This is going to be costly. Looks like Doyle's trying to get out some chips here. Is he going to make this call here? Is he going to gamble with the 6-4 here? These are the kind of hands that you can break players with if you happen to catch. That's so you want to get in cheap. Well, that's a great point, Vince. Folks, he's not calling because of the strength of the 6-4 here. He's calling because he's in position, and in case he gets lucky and hits a flop, he may win millions off his opponent. Well, he hasn't called yet. He's thinking about this. He is doing it. So here we go. A healthy pot developing here. Over 600,000 in the pot right now. Got yeah. ace 10 versus 6 4. Well, here comes the flop. Well, the flop is 8 6 5. And Doyle caught the piece of it. He's got sixes with an inside straight draw there. Now, action is on Lee. Lee didn't catch anything on that flop. Now, remember, he re-raised to 300,000 before the flop. 600. Oh, he's making a big bet into Doyle. Yes, he is. He's betting 600,000 here. He's continuing this charade. Figures if Doyle didn't catch anything, he can get him out. But Doyle has a little piece of this. But this is still a very tough call to make. Well, Doyle's got two sixes and a gut shot straight draw. But if his opponent has an overpair, he's going to be a dog here. 
How is he going to play this hand now? I'm all in. Oh, well, there you go. That's big time poker out of Doyle Brunson right there. I'm all in, he says. Oh, boy. Well, you, you sense a frustration on Lee right here. That's a kick in the stomach to Lee. Well, right he now. just can't call it oh, with an ace high event. And he doesn't. He lays the hand down. Lee would have loved to have just taken that pot. But no, you're in against Doyle Brunson. Things are just a little bit different here. Well, Doyle gambled some before the flop there because of what he might potentially win after catching a flop. Indeed, he came over the top for all his chips, and Lee had to lay his hand down. Just throw the books away. You can't wait for ace-king. You can't wait for your jacks, your queens, or kings. Oh, man. You play your 6-4, your 6-5s, and you win tournaments. Well, that's where Doyle's doing all the damage in this heads-up match. No question about it. Lee looking like he's getting a little tired of this recurring nightmare. And you can only imagine that he's dreaming about another nightmare. Now this time he's got 8-7 off suit. And when he makes it 80,000 to go. Every single time the player raises on the button regardless of their cards. A Doyle this time has 10-6 of hearts. Right. And he's going to play. So here comes the flop. Now flop is jack, jack, four with two hearts. Doyle has flopped the flush draw, but checks. I can't believe it. Again, four to the flush on the flop. I notice Lee reaching for chips. Did not help Lee, but Lee's going to bet. Well, Lee bets 100,000. Now Doyle has the flush draw. Lee's hearts have been very, very good to this man tonight. How is Doyle going to play it? What are you going to do? Now look at that look. See, that's the look you get when you've been trespassing on Doyle's land. <laughs> and Doyle calls 100,000. <laughs> yes, he does. And right now the feeling Lee's got is when your canoe springs a leak. He's sick that Doyle called his 100,000 because he has nothing. Oh, nothing's been working. But here's the turn. King of Diamonds helps neither player. But Doyle checks. Doyle checks. And, and Lee checks right behind him. Take your time. River card coming up. Will Doyle get lucky? Well, the board pairs fours, and we have a unique situation here. Both players are going to play the board. In other words, all five cards on the board are both players' best hand, so if it's checked out, they would split this pot. Neither player getting lucky on that river card. But look at this. Doyle looks like he's going to muster up some nerve here. Will he bet into the man that has absolutely nothing? Yes, yes. he does. He pulls the trigger for 200000 Oh, and Lee is just cursing himself. He lays it down. Well, you have to lay it down after the man calls you on the flop there. Even if he's got a four, he now has a full house. The best you can do is play the board. If the man bets in front of you, you just got to salute him for making that bet. And But you have to give up the pot there, Vince. You know, he's making the right moves, but most of the time at the wrong time. And it's time for the blinds and antis to increase. We're now playing with a $5,000 ante. Blinds are 20 and 40,000. Got to play a little faster. Well, they're still not large blinds with respect to the amount of chips in play. All right now, Lee Watkinson with Queen Nine of Hearts. Not a bad looking hand. He makes it 120,000 to go. Doyle all with in. Ace 7's going all in. Doyle again glances to his left to Lee and goes all in with Ace High. He's got a lot more chips than Lee at this point, and he's going to make him gamble if he wants to play, and he's not going to. Well, he's just going to say, partner, you want to play for all your money? If you can beat this hand, good luck to you. I'm all in. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more legendary poker action here on the World Poker Tour. He's going all in. Taking a big chance here. The Mirage experience was great, everything except for that last hand. And he's done it! Flee around poor Lee. That's what happens when you get beat. The World Poker Tour and the final table of the Legends of Poker Tournament. We're at the Bicycle Casino in Los Angeles, California, in front of a packed house. Yes, we are. And we are just minutes away from the famous Hollywood sign. And I'll tell you, Mike, there's a little Hollywood going on at the table right now. And right now, we're watching a clinic being put on by the living legend of poker, Doyle Brunson. And it is going to be on Doyle once again. And look at this, Vince. He picks up another nice hand. Two tens here. 
Very solid, especially heads up. Makes it 110,000 to go. Lee Watkinson has a queen eight offsuit. 70 raise. 70. Was it 110? Lee just desperate to try to catch a flop to make something happen to turn this match around. So he's going to call the 70,000 with the queen eight. So Doyle with two tens. Lee with the queen eight. Here comes the flop. The flop is ace nine three. Ace nine Does not three. help Lee. Lee quickly checks. Lee checks. And Doyle not going to mess around. He checks as well. Here comes the turn. Now the board pairs nines. Lee again checks. And Doyle again checks. Doyle playing it pretty conservative right now. Not betting his tens. River card. Well, now the board pairs threes. So Lee's going to play the board here. And he has checked it. 400,000. Doyle's betting 400,000. Well, Doyle coming out of his seat there a little bit. Well, remember, there's only 230,000 in the pot. Now, what this says to Lee right here is he's overbet this. Lee like thinks he's playing the board just like he is. I promise you that's what's going through his mind here, Vince. Well, it looks like he's, you know, he wants to steal his pot with a split, and Lee's thinking that. You're right. Well, it's going to cost Lee 400000 to call. Remember, he's only going to get $115,000 back. The very best he can do is split this pot with Doyle. This is just a I good call. bet right now. By Doyle, he's getting the call. Well, he calls him. Oh. Oh. Well, Doyle turns up the two tens. He's going to win the pot with them. Oh, man. He is just making roadkill out of Lee right now. Well, Lee shot himself in the foot there, Vance. Now, that was a frustration call. It does happen in this game. By seeing Lee make that call, you just sense that he's lost it some. You know, he's just desperately trying to make something happen. Well, he is a great player. He has proven that. Right now, he is getting whittled away like a little toothpick. Well, action on Doyle Brunson again. Looks down to 10-5 of clubs. And folks, if you want to learn one thing tonight about Heads Up Poker, it's that you're supposed to raise on the button. These players have done it every single time so far, and Doyle continues the trend. Right behind him. Lee finally looks at a big hand. He's got big slick. He's king. Finally, he's caught a hand he's looking to go with here. Oh, he'd like to taste a little revenge. Well, let's see how he's going to play it. Four more. He's going to raise it 400,000. He wants to punish him. Well, he's not making a pot size bet. He's doubling the size of the pot here, raising it 400,000. Bring in the 120 each, Doyle's got a little bit of a problem. Well, it's going to cost Doyle 400,000 here. He's got the chips where he could afford to make this call, but he's not going to gamble in this spot. And I think a good laydown by Doyle. Why gamble now? You're in ship command. You've got the ship going your way. Don't do anything that's going to change the momentum of this match by gambling too much and giving your opponent some chips he shouldn't get. No. Make him earn them all. He steps out of the way. Not going to play too crazy. And you have to say that Doyle so far has not only held over his opponent, he's played almost flawlessly in this heads-up match, Vince. Making the right bets every single time. Certainly is. Now it's on Lee. Here he looks down at queen three of clubs. And he's going to raise it. And Lee's going to raise it to $120,000. $80,000 $80, raise. Doyle has an interesting queen knight of hearts this time. What's he going to do with this? It's going to cost him $80,000 more to call. That's the kind of hand you want to see a flop with. He does call it. So here we go. Queen nine for Doyle. Queen three for Lee. Hearts against clubs. Oh, and the flop comes queen, jack, seven. Both players have flopped top pair. Oh, potential disaster for Lee. He's got the queens with the worst kicker. Well, Doyle checks. He's going to try to suck his man in. Well, Lee is going to bet. You can't blame him. He's flopped top pair here. He bets 150000 Potential Armageddon now for Lee Watkinson. Falling into a little quicksand right now. Well, not yet. Doyle sitting back in his chair here. 
Now is he going to play his two queens? Look at the look. He's shooting over Lee one more time. So far, he's read Lee like a map every single time he's glanced at him like that. Will he do it one more time? Well, that's the old angry ranch hand look. Don't mess with this man. Doyle with top pair here. How is he going to play it? Doyle playing absolutely flawless up to this point. He's all in. He Vince, he's gone all in here. All in. He has put the Lee test right in. to Lee Watkins in here. Oh, Lee's in the rat trap. Is he going to snap it? Well, can he possibly get away from this hand, Vince? He's flopped top pair. With a crummy kicker. Take off. Well, he's going to call. He is calling it. And he's not going to like it again. Oh. Look at him. Every single thing seemingly going wrong, but this hand is not over. Devastation for Lee Watkinson at this point. Two cards to come. Well, he can catch a three to win the pot. He could possibly escape the hand with a tie. Let's see what happens. He is overdue for a little luck, and he's going to need it. He is on the morphine drip. Can it be two weeks in a row and two championships? Here comes the fourth straight. Well, it's an ace. Now, in actuality, this is a good card for Lee. That's right. Because he can now tie the pot if he catches an ace, a king, a queen, a jack, a ten, or a seven. All of those cards will give him a tie. He'll win if he catches a three. He would love to outdraw and get some luck on Doyle. Here comes the river card. If it's a card under a nine, it doesn't pair the board. Doyle Brunson's going to be our champion. Title on the line. It's an eight. It's over. Doyle Brunson has done it. Brunson, the living legend of poker, has captured his title. I cannot believe it. Well, there you go. Even Lee clapped for him. Folks, that was a performance of the ages right there by Doyle Brunson. He doffed his cap again. A standing ovation. The house is rocking and rolling for Doyle Brunson. That's very good for the concentration. Thank you. All in. I'm all in. So Texas Dolly Doyle Brunson has just added another chapter to his legendary poker career. Don't go away. We'll talk to him right after this. Bring in the man. The living legend of poker has captured the legend of poker title. Tell us how you're feeling right now. Well, I feel great. I mean, it's always a, a privilege to play at the back. I've always liked the bicycle club best of all the California casinos. Uh, and I just enjoy it here very much. And I'm just honored to have won this and uh, looking forward to next year. Well, Doyle, you have proved at 71 years young that anybody can win in poker, but you are a living legend. What an honor and a treat it is to win and capture the Legend of Poker title. Congratulations to you. And now we're going to toast our champion with Michelob Amberbach, the official beer of the World Poker Tour. The legendary Doyle Brunson. For Shauna Hyatt. Vince Van Patten and everyone at the World Poker Tour. I'm Mike Sexton saying thanks for watching. And until next time, may all your cards be live and your pots be monsters.